lovelies. So today I am doing a Sephora haul. Uh, the first thing that I got is this Clinique exfoliating scrub. And I think that this is the wrong one. Sorry if this is annoying for the plastic, but I don't want to take the plastic part off because I think that this might not be the right one. But I do love their scrub and I was reordering because I was out of my exfoliator. But I think that they have an even more gentle one that you can use daily, but I don't actually use it daily. But for my skin, I just need it. So as you can see by this guy here, I have been out of my face wash. So lovely things are happening to my face. And I keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. And now I'm like, grrr. The other thing I got is this Clinique Liquid Facial Soap in Mild. This is a first time for using this for me. I usually use the Clinique Foaming Cleanser and I really, really, really like it. But um, my cousin who works for Estee Lauder, who owns Clinique and all of those places, um, she always said, I said, what's the most gentle thing to use on, to wash your face? And she always said the Clinique Bar of Soap and a washcloth. She said this like ages ago and it always sticks in my head. And so I thought, you know, this is like second best. It's the liquid form of facial soap. So I'm going to give this a try. I'm, I don't know if you guys have seen in my skincare, but I mix, like I do a, like a dollop of this and I do a dollop of the exfoliator and I mix them together and then I do it just at the same time. But um, this is new for me, so I will give this a try. Then the other thing I got, which is also Clinique, I got the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. I know I don't like the regular lotion, I like the gel. So I'm going to give this a try again. I know it's mild enough for my skin. This next thing is the, probably the thing I'm most excited about for myself. So I was watching a Nicole Guerrero's video, but it was like a nighttime routine or something like that. And she used some sort of like balm. Like it looked like a lip balm, like it was that texture and she like warmed it up on her hands and then she took off all of her makeup with it and I thought that's got to be really moisturizing. I looked it up and it was like $85. But Clinique makes one now and it's called Take Off the Day Cleansing Balm. So this is what I'm super duper most excited to try. Yeah, it's just a hard... I don't know how to explain it. It just looks like lip balm. Lindsay, if you're watching this, stop watching for the next minute. Don't even listen. Okay, bye-bye. Alright, so I'm really excited about this. This is actually the first Christmas present that I picked out, and I didn't know if I'd have the money to put together for it, but last year I got Lindsay um, an Urban Decay palette and she absolutely loved it. She hit pan on two of the colors. So I went back and looked and I just kept seeing the naked palettes and I was like, oh, I want one of those. That's <laughs> the first thing I thought. And then I was looking at the naked palette three, which has like really rosy colors and that would just, oh my gosh, uh, I would just love it. But so I was looking at it and I looked and saw because I thought the naked palettes had all new different eyeshadows in it and I was looking at the first naked palette and had sin in it and I know that's one of the colors that Lindsay used up and I was like oh the first naked palette and I looked at the colors and I was like oh my gosh ah, Urban Decay naked palette uh, they were perfect colors for Lindsay like so perfect for her oh my gosh oh my goodness it has the velvety Package. She's not going to care about packaging at all, but I care about packaging. It has the velvety packaging, which I like a lot more than the tin that the Naked 3 comes in. But, oh my gosh. just I, I know you guys have seen it a bazillion times, but just take a look at it again. Just just have a gander once, once more on its beauty. Uh, Monica, if you're watching this, could you please step away from the, this video permanently? got her this look really cute. She loves doing nails and she just um, works so hard and I just want her to take care of herself. So I got her this cute Sephora, it looks black, 
um, Sephora quad of I just thought they were so cute and I was like as soon as I saw them I was like that would be a great Christmas present and then I was like Monica on um, the bottom is this gorgeous silver color and then next is a deep purple which I would really like and then this one is chunky glitter and then this one's a really pretty fuchsia and then I got her this um, Tarte High Performance Naturals it's a Golden Opportunity Tarte to Go kit and it's just this little really adorable packaging and she is so bronze but uh, this I don't know she might want to use this in the winter because that's you know Christmas is in the winter for Americans at least let me just read it instead of making things up. Self tanner. Yeah. So it just kind of came with that. So I was like, eh, I'll roll with that. But I really wanted this because she does take her makeup with her, I think, to work. Hopefully I don't break it. But um, <sighs> it's just like a mini size of the Tarte bronzer and it is beautiful. I'm a little chip in it. I shouldn't have looked at it so closely. My OCD is going to go crazy. Okay, let's just put that back and forget that it exists. And then the last thing that I got um, are these Sephora paper masks. And I got them in the set and I'll tell you what they are, but I got the rose um, mask and uh, it was a dream. What's really cool about these, especially for me, is I don't actually like to wash my face unless I'm like just taking a shower or I'm wet or dirty. Like right now, the thought of like washing my face drives me nuts. I don't know why, because like water like spills on me and it gets my hair wet and I just don't like it. So these you put on, at least for the rose one, you put on, then you take it off, and then you rub the excess into your face. So there's like no washing involved. I know, right? So the different kinds that I got, because I was like, well, I might as well try them. This was $24. They're usually $6 each, so it was a great deal. You pretty much get one free, I guess. Yeah, go big or go home. So, of course, there's the um, rose mask, um, and that's for ultra hydrating. I have the pomegranate is anti-fatigue and energizing. The honey is nourishing and balancing, and the ginseng is toning and revitalizing, and the pearl is reflecting and brightening. So, I'm really excited to try these. I'm actually next order that I put in probably going to order another one of these because what I really want to do with these is definitely give one of these to Monica with hers which I still might give her this yellow one because I'm like really into coordinating colors for Christmas presents but I thought these were really cute to just add in for gifts to people and I love face masks and I think most people do so these are just really easy fun ones. Sephora right now is running this really cool deal and it's um, mix and match and it's that game of memory and it's not hard it's not hard at all and uh, trust me that I have fibro um, it's not hard and you just have to flip it over and match up the cards and they're like of cream and eyeshadows and stuff like that it's super easy um, and then you either get 10% off um, some deal of the day or 150 beauty points so that's freaking awesome and you can do it every day once a day and you just put your email address in so I got 10% off my order like yeah I was ordering a lot of stuff I hope you guys are in pain free stress free day and I'm sending out X double O's and as always I'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye